were received very welcomely by the students and faculty at Guiyang. They all spoke Chinese, we all spoke English. It was a good thing Zhang Li was there to translate for everyone. After lecture, Professor Wang will guide us to campus. They're definitely pretty attentive, clapped a lot. Like when we walked in, like everyone was on their feet clapping for us. into the river, into the sediment at the bottom of the river, and been taken up by various animals that live there. We sampled birds at many, many sites to try to find out whether the mercury had moved into the birds. And spiders have been overlooked before. This is an important discovery. Spiders are high on the food chain, sort of like a wolf or a bear, except they're small, so people have been ignoring them. They definitely asked a lot of questions at the end. I'd say we probably were there for about an hour while they're asking us questions about, not just about Dan's research, but about student life at William Mary, what students are like in the US, what we do in our spare time. It was kind of cool. There were big banners all over the place. Uh, they gave us like a tour of the entire campus. <laughs> And this is a tiny dinosaur? Small dinosaur. Yeah. My research is all funded by DuPont, mm -hmm. and DuPont is very interested in mm -hmm. further relations with China mm -hmm. through their researchers, mm -hmm. research collaborations, so it's possible that mm -hmm. we can work something out that way too. trying to figure out whether or not we can predict if we modify the concentration in the sediments, how would that translate up to the fish or to the uh, fish eating birds. The South River is right here up in the mountains at the base of a uh, large national park. Very strong effect of trophic position and only a small effect of uh, river mile. This year um, we have moved onto the floodplain which is quite contaminated itself and we're doing the same thing through the terrestrial food chain. Our receptor now is a screech owl. See it in the, it's, uh, it's a very special bird in, in the United States called the shrike. It's in the, uh, the first ginkgo. I saw that, yeah. long tail. Big, and it, big beak, and they mm -hmm. kill, uh, what do you, how do you call a butcher who makes meat? Like English? Oh, very, very bad. No, it's pretty, <laughs> it's better than my Chinese. But I will say this, his Chinese did improve between the first talk and the second talk. The um, students at Guiyang Normal University kind of laughed, but I think that was out of pure excitement of someone trying to speak Chinese. And then in Wuhan, he stepped up his game and it was very impressive. Lao Shurmen, Hong Shuemen, Xiao Sheng Hao. For many years, people have known that the fish were contaminated and they should not eat them. But no one studied any of the other organisms that lived in the area. He gets eaten by a bigger fish who eats many small fish, and the level of mercury rises and rises until you eat the big fish and have a lot of mercury contamination. The birds living near the river have high levels of mercury because of the spiders that they're eating. But we don't know how the spiders are getting their mercury. So now, this year, that's what I'm studying. I'm catching spiders, cut open their stomach, and see what they're eating. Most of the funding for this came from DuPont Corporation, which is a big American company. Also the College of William Mary, and the National Science Foundation. Yeah. Does it say anything about DuPont funding from DuPont Company? Yeah. Uh, this part. This is classic Andrew. 
pretty typical. Thank you. Are there multiple settings like computer? 